Uh, I've never spoken to an astronaut before. It's very exciting for me. <laughs> I've and, spoken to a lot of them. So it's, it's, it's really no big deal. <laughs> I, I mean, but it's, it's, a, it's a dream for many of us. And I'm wondering where your dream of space began. Well, I was fascinated with it as a, as a kid uh, growing up. I read every book about rockets and airplanes that my elementary school library had. But I never thought uh, I would actually get to do this because I was watching films of the Apollo missions. And those guys were all test pilots. And I had this crazy mom who was she was scared of flying like on, on the airlines, you know, so there's no way she's going to let me become a test pilot. So I, I, I it was something I never really took seriously until much later when I was in college and I realized they were taking not just test pilots, but also engineers and scientists were becoming astronauts and during the shuttle days. And uh, that's when I applied and, and, and realized that maybe it's within the realm of possibility. And when you had the opportunity to go to space again, but this time through Hollywood, was it a no brainer? Oh, absolutely. No. Yeah. So uh, I got a call one day from from Ron Moore, uh, and he said that Apple uh, said gave him the green light to, to make this new TV show that we had talked about. And do, he needs a technical consultant. And I said, oh, please. Yeah, let me I, I, I would love to do that. Yeah. That's awesome. And has it felt like an extension of your your uh, career as an astronaut? Kind of yes and kind of no. I mean, yes, in the sense that I obviously have experience to draw from and, and, and knowledge that is helpful. Um, but it was so different from anything I'd done before in my career. Uh, and, 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 you know, as, as an engineer by training, the thought that one day I would be sitting in the writer's room for a television show and like working with the cast and helping the stunt people out and, and all the things I get to do in this job. That uh, that never crossed my mind, you know. So uh, I I I kind of thought when I got selected to be an astronaut, yes, that I was fixated on this like I get to go to space thing, but I had no, I was not cognizant at all that there are going to be these other incredible opportunities like this one, and I'm 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 just yeah, I'm very fortunate. Yeah, ten year old you must be like out of his mind. It's uh, yes. it's an awesome. Yeah, you checked off two two big uh, dreams for people. What has your favorite contribution been to this series? What are you most proud of? I would say uh, duct tape suits. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, it, 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 originally when uh, Ben and Matt were writing that episode uh, and they had this idea that uh, Tracy and Gordo, now I'm talking about the, the, the finale of uh, season two, uh, mm -hmm. when Tracy and Gordo, those two characters, they have to run out onto the lunar surface uh, to do something heroic. And originally, their plan was to just have them run out there like in T-shirts, and uh, and I and I and my reaction to that was, oh, that's really that's really not going to work very well. Uh, but then I tried to work with them and preserve the story, and I was thinking about, well, how could we kind of jury rig a spacesuit? And I thought about the concept of mechanical counter pressure suits, and I explained that to 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 the guys, and and uh, and then I said, well, do they have any duct tape? Could they have duct tape maybe, and and like a mask and and uh, and then we came up with that idea and then i, I didn't see this but apparently uh, i think about a year ago at comic-con there were two fans of the show that came in duct tape cosplay <laughs> and uh to think that this crazy idea uh turned into that uh is is really cool yeah if that's where you're gonna find it that's that's where you're gonna find it it's uh it's, it's awesome. The Comic-Con, I saw you there. I was listening. It was a fantastic conversation. I uh, want to close on this one. Any advice for kids like my daughter who want to follow in your footsteps? Wow. Yes. So how old is your daughter? She's 15. 15. Okay. So uh, the, the advice I usually give students is that, that all of us did something before we became astronauts. It, there's no such thing as going to college to become an astronaut. There's no like pre-astronaut curriculum uh, it's not like pre-med or pre-law. Uh, so you have to do something and it has to be something related. So hopefully she's interested in something in the STEM fields because everything that we yes. do has to do with the STEM fields in some form or another. And uh, and find something that she's really passionate about because what we're looking for is not any one particular set of skills necessarily. We're looking for somebody who's had a lot of success in a related field. So to have that kind of success, you can't have that kind of success doing something you're not passionate about. So find that passionate thing. And then, and then, and then right now, you, you know, know, math, math science, that's the foundation for all mm -hmm. of this. So when she's in sitting in her high school math and physics classes, that's astronaut training. Okay.
Well, fantastic. Yeah, well, she's in the she's in the right school for it, and she's uh, she's all on board. She she wants to take more and more science classes and stuff like that. So, uh, thank you for the advice. Thank you for your time, and uh, and thank you for your work in the series. It's really great. I'm, I'm loving it. My pleasure. Thank you.